The full device is claiming to reduce the risk of SIDS or other sleep-related issues, including wearable monitors. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast. That's weather coverage you can count on. Well, it was a quiet day across the Miami Valley and comfortable at that. We saw temperatures close to 80 degrees today. We had low humidity and lots of sunshine. And I see a bit more of that as we head into the next couple of days before that weather, weather pattern shifts. The heat comes back, the humidity comes back, and so does the chances for storms. Timing not the best, though, as we're headed into the holiday weekend. Now, we are starting to fall back to the 60s now, and late tonight, we're looking at the possibility of a record cool night in the Miami Valley. We're looking at an overnight low in the Dayton area that could down, get down to about 51 degrees. The record low for tomorrow, the coldest temperature to date uh, for 1978, was 52 degrees. So if we get down to 51, we would break that record for tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. You can check back in with meteorologist Austin Cheney in the morning to see if we did, in fact, break that record. Now, tomorrow, although we start off cool, it's going to get comfortably warm again for the afternoon. And another day filled with lots of sunshine. 53 degrees at about 7 a.m. We're into the 70s at lunchtime. And then your high tomorrow, we're going to get to around 80. That's still below average for us for this time of year, as we should typically get to about the mid-80s. But you know what? We're going to take it while we have it, because again, by the end of the week, we're going to see some big changes. So tomorrow's comfortably warm. We still have those very low dew points that are anywhere between 55 to maybe 60 degrees. Then as we move toward the end of the week, that is going to elevate. And by the time we get to Friday, it's going to feel muggy. Those temps rise back into the 90s with the added humidity. It will feel like the mid-90s, and it comes in with the threat for some thunderstorms as well. All right, here's a look outside right now. You can see all is quiet in Troy. Tomorrow, temps get to 80, which isn't that oppressive, but with sunny skies, light winds, and temperatures around 80 degrees, it's the perfect environment to have poor air quality. So we do have an air quality alert for Butler and Warren County and down into Hamilton County near Cincinnati. Basically what that means is if you have respiratory issues, the elderly, the children, limit your time outdoors, especially during the peak heating of the day. Don't do any strenuous activities. Maybe you can carpool tomorrow if you have to mow the lawn. I know our, our grass is a little dingy, but if you need to mow the lawn tomorrow, try and do it early in the morning or late in the evening. When you're filling up the gas tank as well for your car with those prices a little bit lower, do it later in the evening as well. Temperatures tomorrow, 80 degrees, and that's the coolest day in the next five days here. 86 on Wednesday, that's average, and then we get into those 90s for Thursday, Friday. See that little dip heading into the weekend? That's caused by the threat for some showers and storms. So I'll show you that on future cast here. Here's Friday. We start out dry. We get into the afternoon. We get some pop-up showers and storms in the peak heating of the day. You'll notice those storms begin to fade away as the sun goes down. We'll have a better chance for storms on Saturday, and that's going to be triggered by a cold front that comes in. And we'll track those thunderstorms right on through sunset on Saturday. And Saturday evening may be the wettest for us for any fireworks forecasts. Sunday we're trying to start. We'll watch the chance for a few more thunderstorms to bubble up across the south as that front will still be nearby. If it's a little bit further north, we'll bring that chance north. It stays south. We'll have more dry weather for your Sunday, so we'll watch that as we get closer to it. On Friday, we're dry to start. It's warm, 70 degrees, but watch as we head into the afternoon and evening. 93 Friday with a chance for those storms, and then we're back to about the mid-80s at 8 o'clock. I point that out because Fort Laramie and Xenia, you do have the chance uh, for a few thunderstorms, and you also have fireworks displays Friday night. We'll be right around the 80 degree mark when those fireworks are setting off. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, there's also a chance for a few showers and storms as we get close to that sunset time frame, 9, 10 o'clock. So if you're looking ahead to do some fireworks over the weekend, check the WHI weather app just to see if those storms are still hanging about. Either way, temps will get to the middle 80s through the weekend. We have that chance for thunderstorms really each afternoon. It's a typical summer-like pattern for us, and we stay warm and muggy right on through your 4th of July. Think of a call, a tough test for the Dayton Flyers. New details on the team's conference schedule and the first meeting with former Flyers coach Archie Miller.